Hi there guys, it's Nick. Okay, this is the second part of Saturday's haul from the car boot sales. Um, there was part one, which was all of the Nerf stuff. I got a huge bundle of Nerf, and this is going to be everything else. You can probably see most of it behind me. I can't spread everything out on the table, so I'll have to uh, do it in parts. But uh, yeah, let me crack on and show you the goodies I managed to uh, pick up this morning. Okay, so a quick overview. This is the stuff on here, and there is more bits down here, and more here, and all of this, and all of this. So, yeah, it's going to take a while to go through. Okay, right, let's start here. There's a few media bits here. I picked this up for a pound, I didn't look it up. It's um, special interest pregnancy yoga. DVD and it's sealed so perfect sort of thing for Amazon uh, I scanned some of this stuff I looked some of it up before starting the video but a lot of this stuff I won't know prices on yet but this I should be looking at getting up to £30 on Amazon because the cheapest new one is about that price so that was a bit of a score for a pound uh, a few media bits there's nothing particularly good here some CDs for 50p well that I paid a pound for because it's the triple best of um, yep, for one pound, bargain. Uh, War of the Worlds for 50 pence, double album, no brainer. Uh, this is quite nice, another sealed one. I didn't look this up. I quickly scanned it before starting. It's about a five or six pound DVD on Amazon. And the Tudors, uh, wasn't really worth going on. And Canis Canamedia, um, otherwise known as Bully for the PlayStation 2. Doesn't seem to be much value in this anymore. There was a period where you could get good money on that but yeah not much on it a couple of uh, Bob the Builder Wellies well a pair of Bob the Builder Wellies uh, for 50p they will go in the shop we do really well on that sort of stuff in the shop I grabbed this which is another Ben 10 watch you can see it flashing away there um, I paid 50p on it in the hope that it fitted some little crystal characters that I already had and luckily it does um, they're in here, it's all of these crystal characters. I've got loads of them. I have already got them listed. So I'm now going to cancel the listing and relist with this because these guys sit in here and then they all light up and stuff. So I'm not sure exactly how it works. But yeah, so, and that will be much more saleable. I think I put all the crystal figures on for like about eight or 10 pounds, but with the watch all working as it is, um, I'll probably get about 20 pounds a lot. So yeah, for 50p, that's cool. So I've got to remember to cancel that listing and redo it now. So that was that. I picked up a Wii uh, bundle for more than I would like to pay, really. I paid £25 for this one. Uh, the reason I did was because it's got two official controllers with the Motion Plus um, add-on bits at the bottom, uh, two genuine nunchucks, uh, Guitar Hero, um, guitar with software under there and then a few nice games there's Akami um, that did hold some good value I think it's come right down now but it's still a pretty good game uh, that would be quite an easy sale um, Boom Blocks isn't really worth anything Resident Evil 4 I don't think has much value but Mario Galaxy is yeah, still a good seller and they're all in fantastic condition so yeah, there's still money in that. Um, I'll probably do what I normally do and break it down and sell the component parts and then do the Guitar Hero and the games uh, on their own. So that was pretty cool. Um, I picked up these two guitars here. These are both uh, Xbox ones. So with these, you don't need the dongle that I've been talking about for the PlayStation 3 ones. And I got that pair for a fiver. So that was a pretty good deal. And then I picked up another wireless, oh, guitars are falling down. Another uh, buzz with wireless buzzers. I got this one for five again. Uh, I sold the one I picked up last week straight away and I got more than I um, said in the video it was worth. Um, I got 35 pounds for it on Amazon. Um, and then I picked this one up this morning for a fiver again. So that was a bit of a, a score. And 
as I said last time, remember with these, make sure you get this wireless dongle. It should have a little cap on it, but it's not the end of the world if it's missing that. So yeah, that was a great find. And on the same stool she had, it was like deja vu from last week, she had wireless SingStar mics, official, and software, but no receiver. And she did want five pounds for those as well, but I explained to her that it didn't have its wireless receiver. So she let me have those for two pounds. But as spare mics, just as they are, there's plenty of money in that. So that was a really good find as well. Um, I grabbed a few little toys for 10 pence each. Uh, nothing great here really. A couple of these Nintendo McDonald's toys. Um, there's not big money in them, but I like to pick up this sort of stuff, especially if it's Nintendo. Uh, it's those. I sold a load of these McDonald's How to Train Your Dragon toys um, the other week. Fairly good money if you get a load of them together. At 10p I'll pick them up. Another Ben 10 toy. The Ben 10 stuff started selling really well for me, so I'm grabbing them when they're the right price. And at 10p, yep, happy days. Uh, this guy uh, is Ben 10 as well. If you're not sure, if they've got that, if I can get it to focus, see the little green symbol there? It's the same symbol that's on that Ben 10 watch. Um, if they have that on it, then you can pretty much guarantee it's Ben 10. So at 10p on this guy, I went on that. Um, calculators, it's, it'll soon be back to school, so these will be in demand again. Um, I've got the cheapest Casio FX scientific calculator I've ever bought. This one was 20 pence, um, and that's, you know, about a tenner. I'll get back on that, hopefully. Um, it's the FX83ES, same as this one here. So, yeah, um, 20p on that one and 50p on this one, so they were great. This one doesn't have the case this one does. They have like a slide on and off case. So yeah, easy money on those. Uh, and then I've got a bundle here that I paid £20 for. Uh, and what it included was a little pink Game Boy Advance SP. Uh, screen's in pretty good nick. There's a little scratch there in the top left corner. Um, but it had its charge in it. And I'll just flick it on. Yeah, it's all working fine. So there was that included and a Game Boy Color in really good nick. The screen on this is really nice. Importantly, it has its battery cover. Now I sold a few of these um, last sort of Christmas time and I got £20 a unit back on them. So yeah, that should be my money back. Um, it also came with a case and this little rubber sort of protective thing. Also a carry case for the SP. Um, and yeah, a few games. Uh, this was a nice one, Super Mario Brothers Deluxe, the Game Boy Color, with a rather squashed box. I don't know if the manual's in there. Oh yeah, it looks like the manual's in there as well. So that's pretty cool. These are just bundle fodder really. Nothing great here. Rats and stuff. Then a few other ones. Pokemon trading card. This was a nice one. Pokemon Emerald. And this is a good find. Super Mario Advance. The label's rather worn on that one. But that will still sell. And yeah, some more pretty crappy bundle fodder. So all of that was included in the bundle. And then also the official charger for the SP. And a rather nice bonus chucked in is an official Nintendo GameCube pad. Uh, these are an easy sort of 15, 16 pounds. So that was great. And just to top off the deal is an official link cable. If you see these and you're not sure what they are, see it says Nintendo GameCube on there. What these do is this bit plugs into the back of the SP and then this other end plugs into the GameCube. Uh, the controller port, you see the, the lead is the same as the controller one there. And it allows you to link up your games on the SP with games on the GameCube. So yeah, fantastic deal for £20 there, plenty of profit in that. I uh, picked up one of these, I've bought and sold these before, this is Past the Pigs. Um, it's the sort of thing that you'd, you'd pass up if you didn't know it was worth money. 
Uh, it's just a little plastic case with these two pigs in. This looks unused to be honest. I don't think the score pad's been used at all. Um, it's got its pencil and everything there. It looks unused. Um, yeah, believe it or not, the top end for these is about £10 with free shipping. It doesn't have its outer cardboard box, but that'll sell easily as it is. I grabbed this um, for 50 pence. I would have paid more. It's Anne Ged's, it's like a beanie baby collection. Well, Anne Ged's is uh, famous for her photographs of babies. That She did this series of uh, little babies dressed as different animals and things. I looked this one up, I should get about 15 pounds back on that. So yeah, that was worth going on for 50p. Uh, I grabbed two of these Ultra Pro collector's card albums for a pound. Now I would have bought them empty because these sell easily. Um, I used to sell these when we had our high street gaming shop uh, and they're not cheap. So yeah, 50p each, I would have gone on empty albums. But just as a little bonus, uh, there's a load of Pokemon in. I've had a flick through, there's nothing of any real consequence in there, nothing of any value. Um, but I do have a load of Pokemon I need to bundle up and get rid of, so they'll just be added to that and a load more in there. So yeah, for a pound that was an absolute steal. Right, I picked up another bundle of this Tech Deck stuff. That's the brand there. Um, yeah, I paid two pounds for the lot and there's plenty of like street skate and ramps and all sorts in there so that was quite nice this was an absolute bargain I managed to grab this for four pounds and it's the Royal Dial audiobook collection it's got 27 discs in it uh, I've sold this before and it always goes really well um, I think currently I'm looking at about 25 pounds back on that so yeah four pounds was uh, a bit of a no-brainer on that one I grabbed these because they looked interesting. I didn't look them up, <coughs> look them up at the time because the, this guy had loads of really good stuff and people were just all over his stuff. So I just grabbed them quick. I got the two for a pound and they're University of Oxford Young Scientist Series. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I still got that cough. Uh, yeah, and that one's sealed up. Not a lot of value in it. I did look this up briefly before starting. I'll probably pair it up with this one, which isn't sealed, but it's unused inside. Um, and probably look to get about a tenner back on those. But they were nice. Put these out of the way. And then a few games, nothing great here. Spot the intro for 50p. Uh, these go okay, there's not big money in them, but for 50p, I always pick those up. A junior Pictionary. Uh, I paid a pound on this one. I checked it out. It looks mint inside. Don't think it's been used. Uh, and they're sort of top end about ten pounds on those. I tend to do really well with those. Simpsons Cluedo. Um, Christmas. You're looking sort of fifteen odd pounds. In fact, I think I got more than that. I think I got nearer twenty for that uh, in silly season last year. So I grabbed that one for no. What did I pay? I think that was a pound as well. And I didn't check on this one. Um, I don't think I've had this one before, Mystery at Hogwarts. Um, it's a Harry Potter. It's fairly old. I think it's from the 90s. I can't remember. Mind you, was Harry Potter even around in the 90s? Let's have a look. Oh, 2000. So, yeah. Fairly early for Harry Potter stuff. So I don't know. I need to look into that one. At a pound, I was going to take a chance on it. That's those. Right, I'm going to have a move around and make some space. Okay, right. So, next was this. Uh, all the cuddly toys you see, I paid £5 for the lot. Um, all of these came from the same store, believe it or not. I don't know why this lady had six doodles, the dog, from the tweenies, but she did. And, um, yeah, I bought them all. Um, she was doing them... The, her cuddly toys at three for a pound. Well, they were 50p when I started looking, and then halfway through me rummaging and finding the ones I wanted, she started announcing everything was three for a pound. So, yeah, even better. So, I grabbed all of the doodles, so that was two pounds worth. And somewhere along the line, I've managed to lose one because 
another pound there, another pound there, and I should have an extra one, so I don't know what I did there. Anyway, it was still a great deal. These, I picked out all of the tagged um, Disney ones. These are all beanies. Not big money in them, but they bundle up quite well. I probably should have got all of the untagged ones as well uh, at that price. But yeah, these are the ones that I got. There's a Baloo the Bear there. Another tagged Disney Store Pooh. Uh, and this guy, if you're from my generation, you'll remember uh, the BBC broom cupboard with Ed the Duck. So this is a proper vintage Ed the Duck. Don't know if there's much value in it, but yeah. At less than 50 pence, I thought I'd grab him. This one doesn't have a tag, but I thought he was brilliant. This is Tigger dressed up as a werewolf. Very cool. So yeah, I grabbed a few uh, cuddly toys. Okay, next I'll show you these. Um, the guy that I got all of the science fiction books from last week uh, was there again. He's he's moving house and he's just clearing out his vast collection of stuff. Um, and what I bought from him this week, I paid, um, what did it work out? £13, if I can get to focus. And these are all Judge Dredd magazine. Um, there's not a great deal of value in these, but I, I went on them because they are all absolutely immaculate and they've been in these binders um, since I think these are about 92, 93, that era. Like I say, there's not a great deal of value in the, in the uh, 2000 AD stuff. Um, I've bought and sold it a few times. Um, I tend to do it in bundles and I'll probably sell this as a bundle. There's about 60 issues. Um, but yeah, the key with this is the fact that they're all pretty much minty fresh in binders. So yeah, that was cool. And as part of the £13 deal were these, and these are better to be honest. These are White Dwarf. And this magazine uh, is all about Games Workshop stuff and the Warhammer 40,000. It's all to do with uh, wargaming stuff. And it's been going since the 80s and these are fairly they're not super early but they're low numbered ones so the, this one for example is 62 and they go back into the 50s um, these if i can be bothered to go to the lengths of selling them individually i could get sort of three pounds each um, on them but i'll probably do them depending on if i've got any unbroken runs in there it might be a completely unbroken run i don't know um, but yeah there's about 40 there so yeah, some good value. Bundled up, a couple of quid each. Um, so yeah, I'll make my money on that. Not sure yet what I'm going to ask on these. Uh, I need to do a bit more research, but yeah, there's good money to be made there. Right, now on to books. Um, yeah, I, I'm still going bananas on books and buying loads. Um, I'll start over here. A guy had loads of brand new books, a load of sealed stuff and a load of absolutely pristine stuff no idea where he got it from uh, for three pounds I bought this lot of him uh, this sealed uh, undead Ed set I scanned that before I started uh, about eight to ten pounds I'll get on that so that puts me in clear profit and then these as you can see they're all absolutely untouched and immaculate um, so don't know I'd imagine I'll sell that as a set depending on what they go for individually on Amazon, if they're worth doing. Um, yeah, but that was great um, for brand new books. They may get sent into FBA or Merchant Fulfilled on Amazon, or I'll bundle these up. Not really sure yet. There's a nice uh, David Williams there, or a couple actually, uh, brand new ones. So they were cool. Um, and then all of this came from one stall, and I paid £6 for everything. Um, there's some really good value here. These Jean M, I don't know how you pronounce her surname, Owl, Owl, I don't know. Um, yeah, that set of five, that's that's a tenner there, so that's my profit back, um, I mean my investment back and a bit of profit just on that set. Um, yeah, I'll probably ask about ten, maybe twelve with shipping on top. Uh, and then you've got this set, that's probably another tenner. Don't know about the Peter F. Hamilton ones, but they should bundle up well. And then these Anne McCaffrey, there's absolutely loads. These are all Anne McCaffrey. Um, some she's co-written, 
Um, but these go really well in bundles and you get about a pound a book back and there's, I don't know what there is there, 20 odd. So yeah, for my six pounds investment, there's gonna be some good profits there. Okay, right, we're nearly there. Well done if you stayed with me. This has become a bit of an epic video. There's only a few bits left, so we're nearly there. Uh, I'll just show you the last handful of bits that I picked up. Okay, so the last few bits. Uh, a few more twilights. Uh, I've got a load of sets of these now that I need to list. Um, I always grab these when they're sort of 10, 20p, that sort of price. Um, another chimp. Again, I've got a load of these I need to either bundle up or put on individually. Um, he was either 20p or 50p, I can't remember now. Uh, set of horrible histories for a pound. The the box for the box set is knackered, but I'll just bin that and sell those as a, as a set as they are. Um, standard, Jack and Wilson, Spotty Harry. Uh, again, I need to shift a load of those. I've got far too many now. Uh, Kathy Cassidy, um, these were 10p, so they were absolute bargains. And these Mr. Men books were 5p this time, so I've got a whole load of these at five pence each, uh, along with these Horrid Henrys, which, you know, that if you get a big bundle, they're worth doing. Um, but I, I've got a Blu-ray of the Horrid Henry movie that really doesn't seem to sell on its own. So I'm gonna do a little bundle with some books and the Blu-ray, so that's what they're for. And at five pence each, it's only an extra 20p to me. So that's all good. And a few more of the Jacqueline Wilson and Kathy Cassidy there. Um, more armbands for the shop. They sell really well for us. And one of these swim trainer flotation jackets. Um, again, this will go in the shop. If it doesn't sell in there, they sell really well online. But we've been selling those quite, quite rapidly in the shop. Um, recently, well, with it being summer and everyone going on holiday and swimming, yeah, they've been going well. And then I grabbed this, probably the most obscure thing I picked up today. Uh, it's Junior Playable Bagpipes. Uh, I paid three pounds for them because I figured it's got to be worth that. They're proper turned wooden pieces on here, and um, considering it's a playable instrument. I figured it must have been fairly expensive new. Um, I've looked it up, um, not matters of value in it really. I'll shoot for sort of 15 pounds, that sort of money. That's quite a nice thing. So yeah, I thought I'd experiment on that one. It's always worth taking a chance on a few things that you're not sure on. Uh, it's the best way to learn. Um, I grabbed this, it's another scene it. Uh, this is gonna go on my pile of stuff to uh, put away for Christmas. I did look at its sort of historical values on um, Amazon and the peak of this was, was only sort of 15, 17 pounds. So it doesn't go super high, but you know, if I could get a tenner back on it, I'd be quite happy with that. But it's not a particularly big seller, but that's one for Christmas, possibly to FBA and I paid a pound on it. It's absolutely mint inside, looks unused. So that was that and I think that's, Got all of my boot sale bits covered and then when I came down to work I popped into town and I went in a charity shop this was a cancer research if you can focus there you go and got this absolute bargain on this now this is the Beatles anthology uh, on DVD and it's a five disc set and I couldn't quite believe it when I saw four pounds on it they can be quite pricey in there um, yeah, I did look this up. Um, I can't remember what it's going for currently, but it's sort of 20 plus on that. So yeah, that was a great find. And then even better, they had a table out the front of the shop. It's an absolutely glorious day. And they had a table out the front of the shop covered in books and a great big sign saying book clearance, everything on the table, 20p. So yeah, I grabbed this which they clearly thought was a book, but if you see there, it's got the uh, little certification because that is the complete Jeeves and Worcester on DVD. So for 20 pence, I bagged myself that. Um, I don't know what value's in it, probably somewhere between sort of seven and 10 pounds. Yeah, for 20p, I could not believe that one. 
So yeah, that was my couple of charity shop bits as well. Okay, so thanks for bearing with me if you've stuck all the way to the end of this uh, epic haul video. Um, I did mention that I'm not going to any Sunday boot sales this weekend, so that's it as far as hauls go for this week. Um, because I'm going down to Brighton to stay with my sister and her husband. So yeah, I mean, I might see if I can sneak out to a boot sale, but I, I doubt it somehow. And the weather doesn't look too good for the Sunday. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy that. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.